Hi guys, in this video, we will show you how to forward call to the external number via SIP trunk, as well as how to show the originator caller ID to the forwarding target number. Firstly, we use this call flow, a no answer forwarding case as an example. Step 1, create a SIP trunk. In the practical cases, you usually already register a SIP trunk. Step 2, create an inbound route and outbound route. The inbound route is to the call can enter PBX. The outbound route is to make the call can forward out to the external number. For the inbound route settings, fill in the DID number so that the call could be routed to the right destination. Select the trunk which is for receiving the inbound calls, and set the destination as extension 1000. Next, configure the outbound route. Fill in the dial pattern as 9x dot and set the strip as 1. For the dial pattern, you would need to use a different one with the regular call outbound call if you have. So that the forwarding call would not use the wrong outbound route. Select the trunk which is used for forwarding the call to the external number. Here we use the same trunk as the inbound route we just configured earlier. In practical cases, you could use other trunks as required. Step 3, set the call forwarding of the extension 1000. Go to the extension menu, and edit extension 1000. Go to the presence tab. Select custom number in the no answer drop down box. Fill the number forwarding to, and the prefix which should match the dial pattern we just set on step 2. Now the whole forwarding settings have been done. Based on the settings, we could also configure the SIP trunk transfer parameter to show the originator caller ID to the forwarding target number. Just go to the edit page of the SIP trunk which is used for forwarding. Go the advanced tab, and check the transfer parameter section. There are five parameters that you can be configured, choose one of them which your SIP trunk provider supports to read. In this example, we choose the from header. Select the originator caller ID. Click save and apply. Now the originator caller ID settings are done. Alright, guys. This is what we in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get more details about troubleshooting, check out our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration, please visit our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.